everybody. So today we are going to explore the reasons why working pages on your website might appear as broken in site audit. So generally this happens because of a false positive and there are three common reasons for a false positive reading. To explore those reasons, you first need to go to the crawled pages report within your site audit campaign and filter using the advanced filters here for broken and blocked pages. So you can see those boxes here and then you want to apply the filter. In most cases blocked, that issue means that our site audit crawler is blocked on some pages in the robots.txt file or by the no index, no follow tags in the code on the page. If you remove the restriction, the issue is usually uh, gone and disappeared. A broken issue could mean that hosting your hosting provider blocked SEMrush bots because they have mistaken our crawling as something spammy, which can happen when it detects a massive amount of hits during a short period of time. So in this case, you can usually reach out to the hosting provider and ask them to whitelist our IPs and our user agent. Another reason for a broken issue could be that at the moment of crawling, certain pages could have been unavailable and responded with an error. It could have happened because during the crawl, our bot took up a lot of server load and pages didn't load in under five seconds. And due to a slow response, our crawler marked them as broken. You can actually lower the crawl speed by changing the crawl delay settings within your site audit campaign. The default crawl delay rate is one URL per second, um, but you can change that to be one URL per two seconds, or you can tell our bot to follow a custom crawl delay rule specified in the robots.txt file on your site. So this may force your audit to take a little bit longer to complete, but it may also help prevent potential issues.